Korean workers logged the second longest working hours among OECD nations, which is why efficiently utilizing lunchtime is all important to them. Kim Hye Sung introduces us to some growing midday trends among office workers in the nation. Kim Bumsu, a man who works in downtown Seoul, says he often uses his lunch break to go shopping. On weekends, I want to go on dates with my girlfriend or hang out with my family, so I use my lunch break to buy jackets or other things. This store that just opened last month is the first fashion outlet to open in Seoul's busiest office district of Cheonglu to accommodate the growing needs of office workers just like him. Compared to other branches, this store offers a greater variety of business attire as its main target customers are office workers. Along the streets of Cheonglu, you can find cafes, clothing stores, and cosmetic shops that offer lunchtime promotions for office workers. In addition to retail stores, department stores located in office districts like Cheonglu and Gangnam have also seen an uptick in lunchtime sales over the last five years. Private consumption in Korea is on a downturn. It's people in their 30s and 50s who spend the most, so businesses are coming up with various strategies to attract them. This yoga center offers a class at noon to attract workers who want to exercise during their lunch break. Most of the students in our noontime class are working women. For their convenience, we offer snacks and lunch after the 40-minute class is over. As a growing number of Korean office workers try to find a work-life balance and make the most of their free time, it looks like the lunchtime shopping trend will continue. Kim Hye-sung, Arirang News.